Yeah, why we lost both? I was losing voltage on the way home. You know that, that alternator belt that blew when we were uh, on the way home? That we spent so much time replacing? Yeah. Well, here it is. Well, I'm glad we found that out before trying to buy it again. Glad it wouldn't have started. So we upload our hilarious mistakes, trials, tribulations, and small victories every Monday. This is the Battle Star School League, eventually, and we are Little Charles. Thanks for watching. There's nothing like a new drill when you've been doing everything with this. So, let's see what they left as far as... What? So that's a, a door closed saw? Is that like to keep... I assume that's what keeps it from going in gear or makes it go in gear? So I need to get power to that so I know which things to bridge. I have to say, out of the entire demo process, this has been the most tedious, but the least physically strenuous or damaging, relatively speaking. You know, you never know what you're gonna get under stuff that you violently gummy bar off of the bus. And uh, uh, look at this lovely guy over here. To be fair, most of the schoolie has been relatively rust free, so this is manageable. It, it really is. first holes are sealed. We try to use as little caulk as possible while making as many caulk as possible. Uh, yeah. It's hard for me to make any comment about this without giggling because every single word I can think of for oozing, seeping, squishing, shoving, stuffing, it just sounds wrong now. <laughs> but we very quickly ran out of pennies, hmm. so we had to improvise. Pennies. Pennies. More pennies. And Corona. Ha. Huh. Seriously, just wash your hands. Drink whatever beer you want. Just wash your hands. Stir thoroughly. Thin material. Only if necessary with acetone. Uh, do not thin. Uh, roller. The rougher the surface, the longer the roller nap should be. Cover approximately one square yard at a time. What? No, fuck that. I'm doing the whole fucking floor. I'll patch it up if I need to. Uh, may recoat when fully dry, usually 24 hours, dry to touch in one three hours, and to handle in three to six hours at 77 degrees, and 50% relative humidity. Well, that's not gonna happen in Texas. Uh, a lot more time at cooler temperatures and higher humidity. All right. Uh, covers 580 square feet at one millimeter dry, or 290 square feet at two millimeters dry per gallon. Yeah, that's a lot of words. I, I assume you remember those, but I, I uh -huh. I had beer. When in doubt, rusty metal primer. It's the way to go. Not sponsored. No, no, definitely. But Rust-Oleum, if you want, you know where we are. Oh. We'll, we'll make sure you know where we are. But yeah, it polymerizes all your rust, so it stops rusting and can never rust again. So, yeah, that's why we've been grinding for two days. Three, three days? Two days. Two days. Day two. Day two. We're almost done. Don't worry.
going so smoothly, and we completely forgot about the fact that we had left the windows open and it was definitely going to rain. So we were increasing the difficulty of a real life game of the floor is lava. Good job, guys. Good job. I'm not sure how you're gonna use both hands to close the windows, but. picture that we posted on the Instagrams of the like what is this wiring we don't really know well the cap that I took off to find that also had the no shut latch that oh. keeps it from locking the bar <laughs> closed so usually the fix to that is you climb in through the back but we just painted the back so no touchy we're done with the bus for 12 hours all right I guess that's one way of saying you're done for the day. 